hi guys and welcome to my youtube channel well, on today's video we'll be looking at construction of hexagonal bolts don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel ring the bell to get the when i post new exciting videos a hexagonal headed bolt but to draw a hexagonal headed bolt we need different parameters to draw we're giving from the equation that our diameter is equal to 24 millimeter and the length of our bolt is equal to 100 millimeter. Now with these two parameters we can draw. Okay, so for drawing hexagonal bolts, or in fact, for drawing bolts and knots, we will need a series of formulas, okay? But since we're drawing hexagonal bolts for today's drawing, we'll be looking at just these few formulas. Now, we have our width, which is W. The formula is 1.5D. That's to serve as... Don't worry, you will see it. If we start at the hexagon, in the hexagon, in the hexagonal bolts that we'll draw. So this is formula 1.5 plus 3. 1.5 d plus 3, which is equal to 1.5 times 24 plus 3. Okay, give it 39. Okay, then we have 2 d. That is 2 times diameter, which is. So, um, 2 d gave us 48. Now our head, that is the head of the bolt, okay, for standard approximation measurements, we we'll use 0.8D, it's a standard approximation measurement, but for rough, rough scale or rough work, we we'll use D, that head is equal to the diameter of the bolt, but we're going to use a standard approximation measurement, which is 0.8D, so we have 0.8 times 24, which should give us 19.2. For 19, okay. Now, for our length of threaded portion, we have 2 times 24 plus 10, which will give us, give us 58. This is length of thread, okay. So, having all these parameters, we can draw. Now, the first thing we're going to draw is a circle, okay, and the circle will be of measurement 2D, okay, that's 48. If our circle, the uh, diameter of circle will be 48, what will be the radius? 24. 48 divided by 2. So I'm going to 24. And I'll place it somewhere around this area. Now I'll draw a circle. Circle has to be faint. It's not actually needed to be um, thick, okay? This circle. So this circle now, I'll construct a hexagon on this circle. Now, how do I do that? I'll draw a straight line. First of all, I'll mark the midpoint, okay, and then draw a straight line. Having drawn the straight line, I'll place my compass here, okay. I'll cut up, cut down. Place it here too. Cut up, cut down. So I believe we should know how to draw a hexagon. Now, having drawn this hexagon, I will then elongate my line. Okay? Make it a straight line. Okay. Now, I'll draw But this line has to be faint. Okay? So, I've elongated. What will I do next? I place this stuff at uh, the last line here. I only point out so I can do it here, I can do it here, but I need to give it a little, a little reasonable space. So I'll place it here and I'll draw a straight line or a perpendicular line. Okay, now mind you, this line has to be faint because we'll not be needing this line. Alright, so having done that, back to our solvents. The head of our boat is what? 12 points. 19.2 millimeter, which is approximately 19 millimeter. Okay, so I'll measure 19 this way 19, and then I'll join. Okay. 
Alright. Now, normally, um, for bolts and nuts, our angle of chamfer is actually equal to 30 degrees. It's kind of a constant. But I want to teach you how to draw chamfer even without using protacto or without measuring those angles. And it's, it's still tally. What we need is it's just our compass because this is a more simpler and easier method of drawing it. Alright, so I'll place it here. Okay. And place it to this point. Here to here. Now I'll cut an arc down. And I'll come this way. Okay. I'll cut another arc up. Alright, so I'll measure here to here. I'll cut an arc up. Place here and then intersect the arc. I have to place this thing here, okay, in this point, and get to, to this line, okay. Now draw an arc. Try best to make this arc very thick, okay. Place it here to this same thing, pin it here, and get here, and then draw this arc. Alright, so this, this is what I will just do. After I've gotten this two, I will place it here. Draw a straight line. This line should be very faint, please. Okay. Then place it here too. This line should start from here, pass through the center of this, okay, and come straight. So, where those things intersect, it will serve as my middle point, and then I will draw. Okay, and once I'm done, I'll take my pencil and take in this part. Alright, so we're done with our head, as the head of our boat. Let's draw the, the um, stem of the boat. Now, we're given that. Our boot length is 100 millimeter, okay? So from the head, not from here, please, from this part. I measure 10 millimeter, get set square. Get set square, and then carry it up. Okay? So let's stop here. All right. We're still given that our length of thread is fifty-eight. This is a millimeter, okay? It's eight millimeter. Now, this is where I'll measure the length of the thread from, not from this part, okay, but from this part. So this is fifty-eight. And then. Okay, so I'll take in this part here. Take in here. Now, this mini part is the part where I will thread. Now, if you want to learn how to thread a boat, well, I will leave the, uh, the video link of trading on the description part of this video. Go to the description part of this video and watch how to draw threads. Then you apply that thread on this boat. Okay, but I'll just do it very Alright, so I'll place it at this first line elongated, this set square, okay? So can I to place it like this, it's my choice. Or you place it like this, it's the same thing. I'm placing it this way, okay? At this line here, and then I'll draw. Okay. So I also elongate all these lines here down. So, so I guess this one. Now, where this first line and this one meet, as is this one, okay, and this one meets, come at that first point, okay, and the last one, and the last one meets this point, okay. Now the same thing too for this part and this downside. This point, last on the last side, this point. Alright. 
I'm going to construct something here too. The same method, the same method I used to construct this chamfer. Okay, I'm just going to construct the two chamfers here. All right, so I will place here and get to this part, then cut an arc down, put it here, cut an arc up. Take the arc, okay. See the same measurement, so measure here, cut, and some put here too, and then cut. So at the intersection point, I place. Okay, the same thing to here. Alright, so when I'm done, okay, so I'll take in this part and here and then here. Okay, this part. Alright, remember our circle diameter or the diameter of our boat, sorry, is 24. Which is if I have it, I'll have 12 12. So I'm gonna do 12 up from this midpoint here. I'm gonna do 12 and then 24. So I'll draw this line straight. This is our like the stem of the boat. Okay. Alright, so from this our diagram, our boat length stops here. Mm -hmm. And then I will take in this part. And then here we'll start with our threaded portion. So we'll thread this part of it. Alright, then we'll do my threading. But as I said earlier, if you want to learn how to trade boats, okay, check on the description part of this video. I'll drop a link there that you can watch how to trade um, boats. I, I, I I'm done trading. If you look at my work, it's neat. So if you trade boats, this is how it will look like, okay? If you want to learn how to trade, check on the description part of this video. Now, if you want to know how to get to the description part of this video, click on the title of this video. And to carry you and then you can see a video links there so you click on the one that, that talks about trade okay all right thank you guys for watching this video please like this video if you find this video interesting and helpful please drop a like okay give us a thumbs up comment on this video ask questions okay ask some questions or when you understand on this video and please i want you to tell me what video you like me to upload next in the comment section of this video all right don't forget to always subscribe to my youtube channel and ring the bell to get notified when i post new videos all right See you guys in the next episode.